Guess what today is? What? Today is Mother's Day. Yeah! Mother's Day. Oh, How many kids oh. you got? How many kids did you have? Seven. You had seven. Seven boys, huh? How many girls did you have? What's your, what's your daughter's names? Judy and Betty. Judy and Betty. Judy and Betty. Yep, Judy and Betty. What's it's not a burden. It's trouble. hard. It's hard. It's not yeah. easy. If it was a burden, it's not a burden. I think if we called it a burden, I don't think we'd be here right now. So, no, it's not a burden. Definitely hard, and it's trying, but time consuming. Yes, time consuming. Yes. Take another bite, Graham. Well, after dealing with it for so long, you know, at first it's very sad. You do a lot of crying and it's, and you know, watching her go through it and then when she doesn't remember who you are, when you're there every day, is very, very sad. And uh, we all, you know, still other family members who come to visit her every once in a while, they go through it still because they're not around as much. You know, we deal with, we've dealt with it for a long time now. So our family, we like to joke around, and we found that you got to laugh, you got to joke, or you know, you just can't cry all the time. Grandma, will you take these pills for me? Absolutely. Absolutely. All right, here. I want you to swallow these. Okay, that's your medicine. That's gonna make you feel better. You know, it's a lot of hard work to do what we're doing, but we're getting through it. The mother's a saint. She's done it for so long. She's done it so well. And my grandma's still living, and my grandma is still living because my mother has helped her to be where she's at, and the rules have reversed. You know, my grandma took care of her when she was a baby, and now it's like as if my mom is taking care of my grandma as a baby. Hey, hey baby. baby. Hey, baby. <sighs> Who is that? Hey, dead grandma. My grandma has nine kids. Two of them have passed away, my two uncles. So seven, which are, you know, part, my mom's part of the seven that are still living. And my mom is still the only person who is here faithfully every day. You know, my Aunt Judy comes once a week. We're thankful for that. You know, the rest, where are they at? Where are they at? And that, I think that is a really big thing for my mother. She, you know, she said she's trying to let go of the fact that she chose to do this and that they did not. I love you. Love you. Tell Grandma Nashko, love you. Love you, Grandma. It, it's, it's, a, it's a sad process to see what she's going through. Um, Hard to let other people in. Me and my brother were talking the other day. My mom would be very surprised to know that I'm the one taking care of her, not my sister, Judy because I think she always assumed Judy would have taken this role. She is a caregiver in every sense of the word and not just taking care of my gram. But she's getting older and she's starting to slow down a little bit and she, you know, she's starting to, she's starting to, you know, get a little run down, you know. It's, it's been a long road. I'll even say to my mom, Grandma, do you know how hard this is on me? You know, you have to help me. You know, it's just hurting my back, but she doesn't it's senseless know. saying that, but, I, but I do say it. I couldn't do it if it wasn't my grandmother, you know? It's just not for me. But when it came to my grandma, I said, you know what? She used to change my diapers. I can do the same for her, you know? Say, love you. Love you. Good night. Oh, Good night. I can't believe she answered. Say, bye. Goodbye. <laughs>